everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe and bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. So today is card day and I've been asked from several people to do an envelope for a slim line card. And I have two ways that I do it. The only way I could find online was to do it long way where it opens like this from the top. I already wrote on this and stuff, but it opens from the top. That's the only way, and I wanted to do a regular envelope. So I came up with this one. I couldn't find one anywhere without using a die. So this is a quick and easy way to do an envelope, a regular envelope. And I would use your regular Whisper White for this. I did use thick on this one. It's a little thick, so I think to keep down on the cost, I would use the lighter one. But anyway, I'm gonna share the envelope and I'm gonna share the slimline card, but I wanted to show you also this card right here because it's using the same technique and it's super simple, but I thought they turned out so cute and I hope that you like them. So this is a five and a half by four and a quarter. So you can use, um, make one this size or you can make the slim card, which I'm loving the slim cards. Look how fun that is. I just think these slim cards are so, so fun. Now I am doing a technique using our embossing paste. So I am embossing the background. I don't know if you can see that. See that in there? Isn't that cute? I love that. And then this one, I just dry embossed. So you can do it either way that you like. What I'm using for this, is the triangle, the triangle stamp set, which I only used the little tree here and the joy and cheer from this one. I used that for the sentiment, and then I just stamped the envelope with um, this one. It also has the little trunk, but I just drew in the trunk on that one. But what I'm using for the trees are the angle, these are the stitch triangle dies. Oh my goodness, I waited forever to get these and I don't know what I was waiting for. Now on this one, I am using this size, which these all go in, in this little square here, or triangle, not square. But I didn't use this large one, but you can definitely use the large one. It probably would work really good with this card because it's wider. And I didn't use the tiniest one, but I did use these four right here. So those four are the ones that I used, which is not the largest, but the second largest, and then down, and then not the little middle one. For this one, I only cut one of each, which made it super simple. Let me scoot these out of the way. And then for this one, I did two of each. So I already took those with my designer series paper, and I cut two of each of these for this slim card because you know it's a lot taller and I really wanted to make this almost the full length of the card. By the way, the slim cards, these are three and a half by eight and a half, right? <laughs> yeah, three and a half by eight and a half. And then uh, this is a regular five and a half by four and a quarter, but I'm changing up the pattern. This has stitching on it, so it makes it super cute. I'm using, again, my favorite, which is Heartwarming Hugs. So this is it. I'm almost out of this paper, but I decided to use this pattern here, and then I'm using this pattern for the back, the matting. All right, so let's get started because we are going to use some embossing paste, and that is going to take a minute. So let's scoot these all out of the way. And I love how the envelope turned out for this, and I'll show you how it fits in here really nicely, just like that. And then what I would do for here is I just stick some tear and tape on there and then seal it. And then if you want to give it as a gift for someone to use, I just put the tear and tape on here and leave the backing on the one side. And this way they can just tear off the backing or use some double-sided tape that has a backing on it and the red line tape. So this is what we're gonna do today. So let's get started here. So the first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna do the embossing 
with the embossing paste and I am using our basic basic pattern masks. So I'm using this one right here and we are going to use our embossing paste and one of these little tools. We have they come in a three pack of three tools. And always keep this very tightly sealed because it dries out really quick if you don't. All right, I am going to also grab a piece of scrap paper. Let's just use a paper towel because I don't have any big enough for that. All right, so I'm going to open up my paste. And you don't need a whole lot of this paste. It goes very far, so it will last quite a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just line this up, and you can see it's too short, but I'll show you what to do when you get to the end there. So we're just going to line this up, and I'm sure you've seen this done before, but it's so fun. I love this, and it goes on really nice and smooth. And make sure that all of your holes on here are filled. And then when I get to the bottom, I'm going to leave that little bit right there. I'm going to lift this up very carefully. And then I'm, I'm going to move it down. And I'm going to move it right over the holes that are already filled in. Just a couple rows up above. And we are going to, let's get some more of this. And we are going to fill it all the way down to the bottom of the card. And like I said, it doesn't take a whole lot. I just scrape it right off. And you do have to let this dry a minute, but I went ahead and did another one so that you didn't have to sit and wait for me to have it dry up. All right, I always keep this on there too, and then just seal it really well. Tighten it right up, and then lift this up. And then you have your thing. If anything goes over like this, don't worry about it. I just kind of pick it all up where there's a, leaves a little line where you added it. And then when it dries, you can actually brush it away a little bit. All right, so once you do that, you seem to set it aside, and then you get that. It will dry. I'm going to set this aside so I can use it on another card. All right, so here's our little base. We're going to use this card. It goes so simple. Once you finish that, then you're going to mat it with a piece that's three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. I'm going to use some of my Tombow glue here. This is actually the pattern I used on the other one. This side is. And we're going to mat this. I love the little bit of red behind it. And then we're going to set this piece down. I press this just for a minute till it gets that tackiness because this is a thick piece with the embossing on it. I love the texture though that it brings to this. Isn't that neat? All right, and then we are going to put our tree together. Now, the easy way I found to put the tree together is just to put it together off. Wouldn't that be cute? This paper is so pretty. I put it together off of here. I have to be very careful because I don't want it to glue to the... So I usually do it like this in my hands. So I'll do the two big ones and then the next largest. And this is going to look different every time because depending on how big you're going to make your tree. And I don't put them on on that particular about them being perfectly straight because a tree is not perfectly straight. There's usually some branches hanging over and it kind of gives it a little bit of character. If you prefer it straight, if you're one of those, you can do that. But And then we're going to do the next size.
I kind of like it a little bit crooked and not straight. I just think it gives it a little bit more character. And then we're going to do the two smallest ones. This one. And I want to always make sure I'm not going to get taller than the, the top of the tree or the top of the card. So let's see where we're at. I thought it was a lot simpler. Yeah, I think we're good there. Doing the tree off of the card. But you can do it however you like it. All right, so now we are ready to add adhesive all on this back of this. And I add a lot because you want it to all be sealed down. So I'm going to put this here. There's a lot of glue and it's all over the, my fingertips right now. Maybe I should turn that a little straighter because I'm going to put a bow at the top there. All right, so look at that. Isn't that cute? This one looks like it's got bulbs on it. All right, and then we're going to stamp our sentiment. And the sentiment is Joy and Sheer, and it's from the same triangle stamp set. So both of these cards are done just with this stamp set right here. So we are going to do the Joy and Sheer. And for the sentiment, this piece is three quarters by two and a half. And then the mat piece that I'm going to mat it with is seven eighths by two and five eighths. So we're matting this. I liked it matted better than just plain. So we are matting this. i got to get it straight though. All right, and then I'm just going to add adhesive to the back here. And we are going to put it right across the center like that. And then I was going to use my sheer ribbon, this real red sheer ribbon. I love it. It's my favorite. But then I went ahead and made one because this is the same color. And I thought I'm going to try this bow this time and put it on the top just to make it a little bit different. And this is from, this ribbon is from the Gornate Garden, and it's, it's Pear Pizzazz, I believe, the color. So it comes in the two-pack. And we're going to use a glue dot to hold that ribbon on, that bow. But you can leave it plain just like that if you don't want to add a bow. But I did like the bow at the top. My fingers are so sticky at the end. And there you go. Look how cute. Aren't these slim cards adorable? And it, look how quick and easy. The only thing you have to wait for is for your backing, your paste to dry, which it's so worth it. It's so worth the simple to do, but you got to wait. Be patient. All right, so now for the envelope, you're going to use a whole 8.5 by 11 piece of cardstock. And then what you're going to do here is let me grab my scoring tool. And we are going to score this. And you're, on the 11 inch side, you're going to score it at 1 inch. And you're going to score it at 10 or 1 inch on each side. And then we're going to turn it and you're going to score it at 2 and a quarter and 6 and a quarter. And that is it, people. Really easy. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next for the envelope. And I hope this helps everybody because a lot of people have been asking for an envelope tutorial. So we're going to cut off these corners. I'm going to cut off all these corners. Even the envelope punch board does not um, show how to make one this big. We need an envelope. It, they do fit in in a business size, but I really wanted to make my own, and I've had several people 
ask because they wanted to make their own. So I'm using my corner rounder here and I'm going to just round all these corners. This is our detailed trio punch by the way and so all of these are rounded. You don't even have to round them. It just gives it that you know more professional look to me and then we're going to just sharpen these. And what you're going to do is you're going to either use your multi-purpose glue or you're going to use some tear and tape or you can use our stamp and seal plus and just put it on the end and then you're just going to push, pull these up and there's your envelope done now I'm going to go ahead and stamp the front because I'm going to go ahead and use this. So I'm just going to use some real red. I'm going to use that tree and the little star. All of these are from the same stamp set. And then you can either stamp the bottom because we do have a little um, bottom part or you can just use your cinnamon cider blend and I just colored in a, a little trunk. You can make this as fancy as you want. You can even put another sentiment on the bottom here or on the back and seal it and then you're ready to go. So here you are. There's that one and then we have that one and then we have our eight, five and a half by four and a quarter regular cards tack and this one's dry embossed. So there you go and then your envelope. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Y'all have a blessed day and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later everyone. Bye.